In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about pentagons and interior angles. Often you're assigned a problem like this and it looks really complicated, but when we break it down into smaller pieces, it's not so bad. And that's what I'm going to do for you here. So if I fade out all the pieces, what we find is this area right here is just a pentagon. The sum of angles of a pentagon add up to 540 degrees. All the green angles, these are called interior angles. It's really more correct to say the sum of interior angles adds up to 540 degrees always. This is the case. Knowing this is going to help us solve all the other angles we don't know. There are several supplemental angles and they all add up to 180 degrees. And I'm going to walk through each of these now. Now if we take these two rays and let me put the G and the 100 back in, right there. It can be hard to see that that's a supplemental angle. So let me rotate this around. Now these two angles combined add up to 180 degrees. Those two angles again are 100 and the G we're talking about. And that means the G is 80 degrees. I'll fade those out and let me rotate it back and put it back in place right there. And what we just calculated was the 80 degrees. Let me do another set of lines. Again, like before, I will fade out the 40 and the C, and I'm going to rotate this around. And again, these two angles add up to 180 degrees. Those angles of C and 40 degrees. Let me rotate it back and show you something else. These two angles add up to 180 degrees. So if I put in the angles back in, C and 40 degrees, C has to be 140 degrees because those two angles add up to 180 degrees. So our second angle we calculated is 140. Continuing on with the same logic, these two angles are also supplemental and they add up to 180 degrees. So we have 110 plus 70 equals 180, 180 degrees. Finally, we go down, not finally, but another one we take is the one in the bottom left-hand corner. Also, this adds up to 180 degrees. We have 110 plus 70 degrees again, which equals 180. Let me fade this out, and we'll discuss this pentagon, which I told you about very first, right there. And if we remember, all the angles add up to 540 degrees. The interior angles do. I keep forgetting to tell you that. So 100 degrees plus 140 degrees plus 110 degrees plus 110 degrees plus A equals 540 degrees. So all these angles add up to 460 degrees. So 460 degrees plus A is equal to 540. So A equals 80 degrees. And let me put that right where it belongs, right there. Now we have all of the interior angles defined and calculated. Now if I fade out everything else, we can calculate the last one, which is F because that's a supplemental angle as well. Those two add up to 180, 180 degrees. That means F has to be 100 degrees. So there you have it. I know it seemed kind of difficult at first, but hopefully you can figure that out now, and hopefully this tutorial has been useful. Good luck.